Hey y'all. <clears throat> so, in my previous videos, I was talking about problems with with belts and how they have to be rigid and they have to be loose. And as time goes on, the rigidity goes away and there is the severe can't. So like if you're, if you're, you want the holster to be like so, but as time goes on because of the points where the holster connects to the belt, it gets weak and then you get this can't. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, people for a long time have been trying to figure out the best solution for that. Uh, and I don't think there really is one. But, I think it's close to it. This is made by True North Concepts. Show you the back of it here. I've been playing around with it. It's not locked tight because um, I am still, it's just, I just got it. So I want to make sure I play around with enough to, uh, to say if it's good for me. And that's the key is what's good for you. Uh, right off the bat, because it's rigid, rigid of the rigidity, it doesn't have the movement like on my, like I'm used to. Um, the position of the, the way this bar is, you can position your holster lower or higher. I wish I could get this higher, but I can't because there's it interferes with trying to lock the holster onto the QLS right here with these screws mount. Um, like I said, I really can't give a lot of detail on it yet because I just got it and it's a first impression. I just want to show it to you. Um, I have put it this this on uh, a couple of holsters and tried tried the draw. I like it. It's a little bit ish too low for my taste as far as like because I'm used to a high draw, but um, it's it's going to happen that way with this kind of mount. But it does alleviate that. It does take the cant out of the gun. You know, it, it doesn't do that with a holster like this. It, it, it does keep it in line. Um, how well it keeps it in line with other, other belts, uh, I'm not sure, because like, I've only got a sample of this one and my duty holster. I mean, my duty belt, and I'm not putting this on there because I don't trust it. Not until I get enough behind, behind it to know that, okay, that this thing's gonna work. It's not Loctite. There's no movement in this, which is interesting because I'm, you know, you, I'm used to that, that movement in the, in the holster's connection to the belt. And I'm always getting this movement, you know. So we'll be having some more videos on this with different uh, holsters that I have that I can use, not that I'm gonna, you know, bank the bank, 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 break the bank on trying to to get but uh <clears throat> got some more on the way for this holster review that's what i call it uh, north face uh to north uh concepts now it's not but now once again nothing is old and nothing is new um nothing so what i mean by that is is this has actually been around for years and it's been in the shooting competitions. Like uh, they, they've got it under a different name. I can't remember what it is, but it's it's the same concept. The, there's the, the difference between this and that is this is more aligned to a duty uh, scenario where theirs is a speed scenario. So if you go and you look on the shooting matches, you'll see this same kind of concept, uh, the same plate design or type with a, a holster to it. And uh, so the, the, the weapon is in line and it's just straight pull every time, straight pull of the holster every time, rather than on a duty holster, you know, you're sitting there, you're moving, it, it's bending and twisting. So you're kind of trying to get your hand on the holster and the gun to kind of level out, put it in line. So, 
be back directly with some more videos. Y'all be safe.